Hey you guys, welcome back to Fierce Factor Fitness. Now today I've got something really special for you. I've got five very simple ways you can boost your metabolism. Number one on our list is going to be drink water. Well, more specifically, drink cold water. Now there is a study that was published by the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism that states drinking just a little bit over two and a half cups of water can actually boost your metabolism by, hold on, 30%. That's huge. Check this out. Drinking 16 ounces of water prior to a meal can actually reduce your calorie intake. Well, if you make that water cold, you're boosting your metabolism by 30% and you're taking in less calories. You're already on your way to losing some weight, right? This is my second tip for you. Drink green tea. Why green tea? Well, green tea, it has this ability to prevent your body from breaking down norepinephrine. What's norepinephrine? It's a hormone that your body, your body produces when you have a spike in adrenaline. You see, when you have a spike in adrenaline, what do you need? A lot of energy. What's energy from? Sugar. Well, what kind of sugar do you store in your body? Fat. Fat is broken down into simple glucose by norepinephrine for your body to use when you have that spike in adrenaline. Now, over time, your body doesn't need this adrenaline anymore or this norepinephrine. So what happens is it starts breaking it down. Well, green tea prevents your body from breaking it down. What does that mean for you? That means that even when you're resting and you drink green tea, your norepinephrine hormones are still floating around, which means you are still burning fat at a higher rate. Now, for this to be most effective, you have to drink 500 milligrams of green tea extract twice a day, which isn't really a lot. Check this out. Let's put them together. Drink iced green tea before you eat 16 ounces. Well, okay, what are we doing? We are boosting your metabolism by 30%. We are preventing you from taking too many calories in while your metabolism is spiked up. And the norepinephrine stays lingering in your body a lot longer. So we've stacked three things on top of each other. And I'm only on my second tip. I mean, don't get me started, right? So we've only done two things and we we're already stacking it up. My third tip for you is high intensity interval training. What's that? Well, instead of telling you, I'm going to give you a little challenge. You ready? I want you to jump rope for 11 minutes. Yes, 11 minutes, but I'm not done. The first 30 seconds you jump rope, you're going to jump rope at 50% speed. The next 30 seconds, I want you jumping rope at 110% speed. Don't whip out on me. I, got, I want everything you've got and then some, okay? Next 30 seconds, back to 50%. Back to 50%. 30 seconds after that, give me another 110%. You're going to do this for five minutes. Rest a minute, and then go at it for five more minutes. When you're done, I want you to come back to this video right there in the comment section. I want you to write down what the effects were. That's high intensity interval training. You're taking your body through a roller coaster ride of resting and just high peaks of work and then resting, high peaks of work. High intensity interval training actually boosts your adrenaline your body, because you're taking it so far up and down over and over again, your body has to produce adrenaline. It doesn't know what the heck it's doing. Well, high intensity interval training tricks your body into boosting your metabolism. Not only that, the effects of it last up to 24 to 48 hours. The fourth tip for you today is work out, lift weights. Some of you are probably like, wait, wait a minute. I don't wanna get like big, I don't wanna get all muscular. Right, for the ladies, you want to get toned, you want to get sexy. Lifting weights gets you there. Now, what lifting weights does, I'm not saying lift like 100 pounds and start curling 100 pounds, no, 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 no. Lift lighter weights and lift more. Now, what that does is it makes your muscles stronger. Having stronger muscles makes more of a demand out of your body. Right, now, when your muscles are working, it's like a car. The more horsepower a car has, the more fuel it consumes. Right? Now, if you're, con you're consuming the right amount of food, you can actually force your body to turn straight into the fat and start tearing that up. And we'll get into that later. My last tip to help you boost your metabolism and kick it into overdrive. Here it is. Protein. If you have protein or consume more protein, you're actually making your body work harder to break the food down. Protein is considered a thermic food. Your body has to work extremely hard to break it down and use. Secondly, Protein is what our muscles are made out of, so you're actually feeding your muscles directly. So start having more protein. What's a great source of protein? Chicken breast. Once I start getting into nutrition, 
you're gonna find out that chicken breast is going to be your best friend. So I hope you found all that information really helpful. And more importantly, I'm hoping that you've already utilized some of that information into your everyday life. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit like. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section and definitely subscribe. I'll be catching you guys soon.